Jordan Cole, Jordan Cole, Jordan Cole Brock. As safe as a judge, as sweeter than fudge. Jobs for the family and other half truths. A little hot sauce in the gin and vermouth. Jordan Cove, Jordan Cove, Jordan Cove Rock. Everything's fine in Jordan Cove time. They don't see a problem in Jordan Cove Square. But we have some questions There's no guidance With subsidence In the Cascadia subduction zone With your submerged self On the continental shelf You'll find that Juan de Fuca Is the only one home Riding the edge of the accretionary wedge It doesn't matter how much they dredge it's all academic when a quake sinks the dock and does the Jordan Cove Oil refinery that's in Ichihara, Chiba, Chiba Prefecture in Japan. But according to the uh, Prime Minister, there have been no damage to nuclear power plants in a quake hit area. That is according to uh, Naoto Khan who had been speaking to his people. But right now you're looking at one of the oil refineries ablaze. There's reportedly 14 industrial complexes ablaze in Japan because of the earthquake. Again, 8.9 on the Richter scale. Some of the most spectacular blevies have occurred at train derailments. 1983, a wrecked train with 11 tank cars holding highly combustible materials bursts into flames near Murdoch, Illinois. Sick chooses to stay behind, a half mile from the flames. The fire is making a sound like a jet liner taking off. Something apparently blew up just a couple of minutes ago and started this big roar of flames and uh, the sound of a jet liner. What the news crew doesn't know is that the noise they are hearing is a warning of an impending blood carrying propane gas. Moments after the reporter signs off, 30,000 gallons of boiling propane push the tank's metal walls to the breaking point. Is the only one home Riding the edge of the accretionary wedge Doesn't matter how much they dread When a tank is exposed to sustained heat, such as from a fire, the liquid within the tank is forced to boil or vaporize, resulting in increased pressure in the tank. To prevent overstressing the tank, the relief device activates, preventing the excess pressure. As pressure decreases in the tank, the valve begins to close. With continued heating, pressure again builds, causing the relief valve to reopen. Where flames impinge on the tank below the liquid level, the liquid absorbs the heat allowing the tank metal to remain at a safe temperature. With continued relief valve operation, the liquid level drops, exposing a greater area of the tank to the effects of heating. With the flames impinging on the vapor space of the tank, the temperature of the tank metal, uncooled by liquid, rises. At some point, due to the vapor pressure from within, the tank metal begins to weaken, stretch, and eventually tear. As the tank comes apart, large quantities of both liquid and vapor are released in a powerful explosion. As night falls, the flames finally make their way to a nearby tank car filled with highly flammable isobutane. This blubby creates a blinding whiteout as 50,000 gallons of fuel They don't ignited. see a problem in Jordan Cove Square, but we have some questions. There's no guidance with subsidence. Generally, we generally don't make long-term decisions based upon geological time. Um, I'm not sure exactly what, how that would scale. 
It's all academic when a quake sinks the dock and does the Jordan Cove ride.